Hi, Dave Bremford, General Manager of Al's Vacuum. A little different today, we're in the back room working on a bagless machine. So uh, you folks that have a bagless machine, this is what you're used to seeing, this is what you dump out, this is when all the dirt goes flying around and you start breathing it in again. But what we see when we take this machine apart, I mean, this machine is totally disassembled and this is what's inside. And, and this is just dust and dirt and dead skin cells and whatever you want to call it. And it, it's really not healthy and this just accumulates inside these bagless vacuums. Now what makes this worse is if you get any moisture introduced into this. It could be vacuuming up a wet footprint from the kids or the dogs. Maybe one of the kids spilled a glass of water and they decided to vacuum up. And kids, you shouldn't do that, by the way. But you get moisture introduced into this and it creates mold, mildew, um, bacteria. And then when you turn your machine on, you're basically circulating that mold and mildew and the spores around your house. And it's just not a healthy environment. And that's also what makes that kind of nasty smell that you get. So my advice today is if you're turning on your bagless vacuum and you get that kind of nasty smell, you want to get that thing out of your house. You want to throw it in the car, bring it in here. We'll take it in on trade. We'll get rid of it for you. We'll get you into a good machine that this does not happen to. Um, and if you have a bagless vacuum, well, this is what's inside of it. So you want to bring that machine in and, and let us take care of that and clean that out for you. So, yeah, make your house a little bit healthier. Get this stuff out of there. Thanks for tuning in.